Welcome back to our channel. I am Coral, this is Ricardo. If you yes. have not joined us before, and we are Ricardo oh. and Coral. Yes, yes, that, that, that's the name of the channel, so you should know that. <laughs> that well, was pretty obvious. They might not, so. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm Coral, this is Ricardo. You never know, you never know. People who like might be from China, you know, they don't really know. Anyway, the time has finally arrived when we actually try things out. Because yeah. we did say at the beginning that we were going to make videos like this where we try things out as well, and you can. Watch it with us. Because, and like experience. I said, we like food. We do like food, <laughs> so we're gonna go for it. Who doesn't? I like good food, to be honest. If it's bad, I just won't eat it. You'll know if it's bad food because you'll see me not eating it. Yeah, but you would eat it, whereas I would be like, what I'd else? rather not fill my stomach with something that's not enjoyable. Should we make a video where I eat moldy food? Ew, no, because you're gonna get sick. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that's not good. We're not going to do no, that. No, 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 we're not going to do that. So, of course, it's still Christmas, Christmas isn't it? Yeah, it's well, still Christmas. Well, actually, hasn't got to Christmas yet. Oh, yeah. Christmas period. Christmas period, yeah. yeah. Everything that we're doing is Christmassy, but I love it. So, just... what can we try out on a Christmassy time? Yeah. So, we went to a different shop and we yeah. got some things. We got a bag in here, Tesco's bag. Although, strangely, none of it is from Tesco's, <laughs> but it is a Tesco bag, and it is, I think it's a Christmas Tesco bag. Yeah, it is. it is. It is, it yeah. is. We've basically got Christmas food to try mm -hmm. for the Christmas time, although one item is not from Christmas, but Ricardo didn't know that. It looks Christmassy, to be honest. It I, does look Christmassy. I think around this yeah. period of time, anything that they sell, they just put Christmas stuff on it, like, on the packing. Yeah. So it looks Christmassy to well, me. Well, they but... do it all year round. <laughs> That oh, yeah, but yeah, to Ricardo, it yeah. looks like it. I'm not English, so, so to me, everything yeah. is Christmassy. We don't time. care. We don't but care. we'll try it because it look tasty. So exactly. We'll see. So who cares? cares? Got about eight, ten things, something like yep. that to try. Yep. Yep. Like tons. So we'll just start off with the traditional mince pies, which I don't really like, and there's not mince inside. There is isn't any. That's true. That's a good thing <laughs> to mention, actually. <laughs> The first time, Cora said, do you want a mince pie? I was like, no, why would I want a mince pie right now? You want pudding now? And she was like, yeah, it is a pudding. So inside, there is actually mince meat. It's filled with mince meat, filled with a mince meat, well, filled okay. with a mince meat, made with sultanas, brownly apple, currants, and mixed spice. That sounds disgusting to me. You've had them before. No, I've never. No, you have. No, I've never. You liar. Cora, I don't even like dried fruit, so liar. why would I like that? You're lying. Coral. So, <laughs> I literally don't like dry food. We'll try like this each. Obviously, Coral will try it. that. But I thought since we have like Asda's own ones from before and we've got co op like irresistible luxury ones, apparently, we could see if they're actually irresistible or if they're just lying and making it up. Oh, yeah. You let you me know. You can take the first bite. <laughs> you let me know. <laughs> you try. No, you're taking the first bite. Why? I know what it tastes like. Oh, but I thought I tried it as well. Well, you're saying you did it. Uh, oh, you're squishing it. Oh, uh, oh, uh, I'm trying to. How do you all eat it? Big bites. No. Well, because I was just going to get the pastry. Yeah. Um, crumbly. Yum. My turn. Is it meaty? Definitely not. <laughs> Luckily. It's surpri surprisingly good, but I still don't like it. Did you want to try this other one and compare it? No, I'm good. I, I trust <laughs> your new word. Well, if I say which one's better, looks-wise, co-op win. Taste-wise, no idea because I have to eat them both at the same time and I can't bother to do that. Okay, let's try something else. Something <laughs> a bit tastier, please. We'll pop these to the side. Thank yes. you, co-op. I can choose the next one. Ooh. First one that comes to me. my hand. Turkey stuffing bowl. Flavour of Christmas with added crunch. Give it me like a really like Christmassy, like you're here on an advert kind of one. Turkey stuffing balls, a flavour of Christmas with added crunch. Sound like a cereal advert more than a Christmas advert. <laughs> uh, maybe it's your voice, maybe it's in your lady's voice that really kind of. A flavour of Christmas with an added crunch. Cora, it sounds like you're trying to flirt with the person. <laughs> oh, they basically look like cheese normal balls. cheese balls, yeah. They. Oh, they smell really strongly of turkey. Strong. Mmm, they're quite yummy. The weirdest thing I've ever ate. It literally tastes like you're eating meat. The turkey. No, do you know what it's like? Roast chicken. Roast chicken crisps. It's literally like that. But different texture. They didn't like it. And they were going to move on to the next item. They didn't. He didn't. 
The lady was trying to be sarcastic, <laughs> but it didn't work. Well, should we do the, the same as we've got that flavour in our mouth? We may as well go on to like Brussels sprout bites. Oh my god. Hold on, what would you give like out of 10 the turkey balls? The turkey? I feel like I have to be in the mood for it. And if I was in the mood, I would give it a like a 7, 8. Okay, that's quite Ish. high. Okay. What about you? What about you? Oh, what me, yeah. Uh, I would go like 8, 9. Really? Probably 9. I would like them. I would eat them. There's not something like I would go to the shop and buy though. I wouldn't be like, I'm going to go buy yeah. turkey balls. Yeah. Because that's not like, that's not what I like anyway. So. I mean, although you would definitely go out and buy those cheesy puffy things, wouldn't you? What's it? Yeah, not the balls. I wouldn't go buy cheesy balls. No. But I'd buy what's it. Yeah, but you'd like those. But I'd still, yeah, but I I'd still take a salt and vinegar crisps any day over anything, uh, so. Yeah. And now Brussels sprouts, that's uh, a whole new thing. This is going to be super weird. So I've heard that these, Brussels sprouts like mini cabbages, aren't they? I like Brussels sprouts. I actually do. Not a huge fan. I mean, I like, them. I eat them. But you would go out your way to like make them. You'd yeah, be like, exactly. I'm gonna have Brussels sprouts for dinner. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Brussels sprouts will be in my roast. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, definitely. You can't have a roast without Brussels sprouts, so. No. That's it. No, okay. So these, I've heard, taste like cabbage, apparently. Should we, you... should we smell them first, or should we? Uh, I guess we'll even smell it. Come on, let me smell them. Mmm. You smell it now. Hold on. <laughs> oh, They're green as well. That is so strong, guys. That is so strong. They're literally like yellow with green specks. I don't really taste of anything. No? No. I hope so. It's not a strong taste. Maybe it's because they're like airy. You can't taste it yeah. a lot, but you can smell it a lot. It's super smelly, mm, but I'm not tasting look. it. Look, Brussels sprouts and sour cream flavour. Oh, that's why. So it's not just Brussels sprouts, even though it's got Brussels sprouts on the front. Does it say anything else? No. Bites. Flavour of Christmas with added crunch. You literally just read that on the other one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's why it's probably not as like bad then. It's got sour cream on it. I'd eat these two. Still smells. What? Would you? Yeah. Oh, right. Which one would you go for? Neither. Oh, if you had to, it was a live or die situation. Turkey. Yeah, me too. But... Stop it, no. I'm not having it. And they moved to the most interesting part of this night. What did you choose? Randomly. They feel like they were broken in there. Ginger Gingerbread man. Men. Men. Ah, oh, R.I.P. It definitely is a piece. Look. So, so let's try them. I think you need to work on your ad TV advert like voice. Why? I actually quite like it. Why? Is there vanilla inside? Oh, they're not gingerbread men though. They're just gingerbread men shapes. So basically, it tastes like shortbread. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. But crunchier, because shortbread isn't this crunchy. Oh, it's tasty. No, I tasty. I enjoy this. But I don't know. Why are they so broken though? Even though like the side, have you thrown these on the floor or something? No. Maybe the workers got angry with the men and threw them. So far, those are my favourite. And they're from yeah. co-op. Good old co-op. On to the next. What do you think I'm going to pick out? No, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm going for these. <coughs> Leb chucking. No, Leb cutchen. What's the C in there? Leb That is a K. Leb cutchen. Definitely a German word. Classic soft and sweetly spiced festive treats. Filled with the fruitly apricot. Filling you and sound like covered you're going with to war smooth Ricardo. milk chocolate. Ricardo's going to war because <laughs> he puts on this like deeper voice and he starts doing the TV advert. <laughs> That's how other people do. I don't think men really do it though. Yes, it is. Well, do. men probably do things that aren't to do with food, but not everyone maybe speaks in like Italian. Maybe in Italian it sounds nicer. Don't go really deep. Though. I can't do it in Italian because I I have to translate it literally. <laughs> Soffice classico pieno de maghetta, de, de pezzi festivi riempiti di frutta e co, uh, coperti de, de cioccolato, de latte al cioccolato. Cioè. I think people would have fallen asleep or got confused or walked out or something during this. Maybe if it was written think, down in a proper translation. I think that's just you, really. I yeah, but you just you. That's just you. You take yours. Anyway, these oh. are from Asda. What are they, though, actually? They're literally classic, soft, and sweetly. Spiced festive treats filled with fruit, apricot filling, and covered with smooth milk chocolate. Basically, mm. disgusting. Very soft. Yeah, it's not biscuity. It is tasty, but 
I would eat one a day. I wouldn't go like, wah, 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 yeah. wah, 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 wah. Like not, one a day like is perfect. More it's really rich, good. Yeah. They're not more rich. It's well, really I tasty. I probably eat one right now, to be honest. Just but one. That's it. Not more than one. Not another one. So that'd be two. <laughs> Next one. <gasps> Ooh. Not number two after that one. Oh, well, these are the ones that are Christmassy but not Christmassy. They're all year round. But, but they look very Christmassy. Just because the of the red packaging. <laughs> they were probably in the Christmas aisle though, I bet, as well, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. That's why I picked them. Yeah, exactly. But I know these are going to be good. Thornton's brownies. Yes. Look at those. Ho, ho, ho. Ready? Oh, cheers. Because we know this is going to be the best one. Ding! Mmm. I thought there'd be more chocolate here. It's fun. Like chocolate chunks. No, yeah, but look. Chocolate fudge. Yeah. Delicious chocolate brownies baked with chocolate fudge pieces. Mmm. And dipped in smooth milk chocolate. Very but chocolate tasty. fudge That's pieces. That's what it means. Mmm. Super yummy. I'm really get fat. I'm going to have to eat all this all week now. I, I will eat the fudge. You can eat the rest. Oi! I don't yeah. like the rest. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Liar. No, I don't. I can eat the heart once a day. That's it. All right, we'll put them in the fridge for you to eat once a day. That's fine. I'm right, good. Next time. You take We've the last. The second last. What did you get? Oh, so pretzels. So these are from Sainsbury's. I'm not a big fan of pretzels unless it's peanut butter pretzels. No, you like the sour cream pet pretzels. Do I? Don't tell me you haven't had those because you have had those. I have never had <laughs> you those. Have had those. <laughs> I don't know actually. Right, can we get on with it? Okay. Open the package. Cinnamon bun please. flavour pretzels. Cinnamon. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I already know that it's yummy, but I didn't try them. I don't know if it's yummy. Hold on. Yes. It's good. <laughs> face. Oh. Oh. Let me feed you. Oh, you can have a bell. Oh, they're in like, different shapes. Get a we bell. We don't really eat that in Eastley cinnamon, so it's for me American, it's a really. weird flavour. I got a Christmas tree. And I don't like it, so I'm going to eat the bell. I will watch you eat it. Why? I don't know. Mm. You only get the flavour straight away and then it's gone. Exactly. The pretzels itself makes it go away, straight away. That's good. It's literally like it's just like a powder on top. And then as soon as you put it in your tongue, it's like disappeared it's and it's just a pretzel. Yeah. You don't taste the cinnamon. No. That is disappointing. That is really good. Well done, whoever it is. Sainsbury's. Well done, Sainsbury's. Last one. What colour is enjoying our pretzel? Christmas spies to shop red stars. Spice biscuit bites, perfect for parties. Literally think these are the same as the gingerbread ones, but the gingerbread men were deceiving because they say gingerbread men, which makes you think it's going to be gingerbread men. Oh, is that going to be the same then? I think it's going to be the same. Thank you. Do they look the same? Maybe we should like bite like a head of the gingerbread men as well. That's the same, aren't they? They're softer. But the same. True. Did they say shortbread? Yeah. Because the other ones we don't think are shortbread. Yeah. It's exactly like shortbread. My favourite shortbread is their shortbread with chocolate. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But all this stuff is very dry. So I feel like after we finish this, I need to drink a litre of water. That's true. Mm. I can't live like that. Right. So, um, okay. all of these. Yeah. Not including the fudge brownies, because you can't actually get them. Why can't all you around. lose that? Because I know you'd go for that. Apart from that, Dang it. <laughs> which one would you choose, like overall, to if you had to eat them? That Ooh. shortbread. Okay. Starts yeah. the start little start pieces. Shortbread. Yeah. What I'm quite you? surprised because that's sweet. I'd probably pick the what ones did we eat? I'd probably pick those or the gingerbread men. Which is basically the same. Yeah. These are the things that we ate here in England during the Christmas time. And definitely there are more things if we had more time to go around and look for other shops. There's got to be loads of stuff. In your own country, if you're not from Italy, especially because we know in Italy what you eat, because I know it as well, because I eat it all year round. Here it is. Oh, oh yeah, do you? Well, not all year, sorry. I mean, like, <laughs> on, on Christmas, Christmas. You have time. had it, like, all year. We've had this. Oh, yeah. 
but this is what you get in Italy. So, apart from people from Italy... And we have done, in the past, a video. Didn't we do a video about, like, Italian food? I'm pretty sure we did. We did. I think that was, like, two years ago, so we'll put that, like, in the cards up here. Uh-huh. Um, and you can go check that out. Getting back to what I was saying before Cora interrupted me. In Italy, <laughs> we know... In Italy, I we know... I can interrupt you again if you want me to. In Italy, we know what you are gonna say, what you, what you can find, what you can eat. But, if you're from another country, anywhere else in the world, let us know what you guys eat or what you find around Christmas time that is very popular in your country. Also, how to say that word, le brocken or le, le brocroon. We'll write you it. You have it. We'll write, I'll do it. We'll put this in the description below. Yeah. You tell us how you say it. If you know how to say it, let us know. But I don't think you can let us know because Actually, you can't really you can't send an audio message. Um, tell us if we said it right. <laughs> yeah, just tell us if we said it right. That's all we need to do. And with this video, we're going to leave you guys. Just don't forget to follow us on Instagram with Rick Chile 92 and Carl Ray Chile. Follow us with our stories and our posts that we post every now and then. <laughs> I was going to say every day, but we don't. So every now and then, just follow us on Instagram as well. We're going to let you know what we're up to. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe right now and turn that notification bell on because you're going to find out every Sunday the new videos coming up and the new things coming up. So don't miss any videos. No. We'll see, see you next time. Next time. Bye. Bye.